guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for season 9, episode 5 of American Horror Story. This time, the title of the episode is Red Dawn, and I am excited to continue watching a new episode of uh, American Horror Story so far. You know, even though fan favorites Sarah Paulson and Eva Peters are not part of this season, I am loving it. I, I, I love having Emma Roberts, I love having, you know, uh, everyone everyone here and I think that they are doing such a, an amazing job that even though it's kind of sad that you know Sarah and Ivan are not part of the season you still enjoy it and it's it's the story is really good their performances is amazing as always and I am very excited also you know the supernatural things are happening now with uh Ramirez I've been calling Richard uh, Rodriguez and is Ramirez. I'm sorry, <laughs> uh, but uh, having him resurrect and correct me if I'm wrong is that there is some like so, some sort of connection with apocalypse, right? Apocalypse was all about Satan and all that, and you know the apocalypse and the son of Satan and all of it. Uh, and here you have a lot of callbacks to like he's a worship worshipper worship. Okay, whatever you pronounce it, uh, of Satan, and you know, it looks like Satan himself brought him back. But, like, why will Satan bring him back and not his own son when he died on Apocalypse? So, I don't know, but I feel like there are some ties with the previous season. So, and if there are some ties with Apocalypse, there must be a tie with uh, Coven, right? I mean, anyway, so. Hope you guys enjoyed my reaction video for season 9, episode 5. I hope you guys still continue supporting for more. Give a lot of thumbs up if you love American Horror Story. Subscribe for more, for more comic, hit the notification bell. And you can go to Patreon right now and watch the full extended version for this reaction and so much more. So, yeah, in case you guys want to watch that link, will be in the description down below. And that's about it. Without further ado, let's just begin with season 9, episode 5 of American Horror Story. Is this in the past? Uh oh, that doesn't sound good. I know you in there. Oh, don't tell me she's dead. And I know what you're doing. Her brother? <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Kill him. 
<laughs> He's being brave. Should wake him up. <laughs> oh, her knife. Or uh, dad. Okay. Or, or found help. Oh. Don't worry. I promise. I'll be right back. Yeah. Keep that close. Okay. <laughs> He's just so stupid. <laughs> Keep that close. She just got me from you. That's Ray. Ray, the one who got decapitated. Ray. So people are coming back. I knew you wouldn't bail on us. Did you get help? You got decapitated. You were going to the call box. Falling off? Did you hit your head or something? <laughs> no, he actually lost Jingles. his head. <laughs> oh, holy moly! So this land brings people back from the dead. Yeah, that's what, what I thought. <laughs> So kill I can them. kill you. Yeah. Oh my god, Chet has so much energy. <laughs> that woke him up. Oh. Oh. oh god damn it. God fucking damn it. Oh god. What is the deal with her in the ears? Oh, that's so cute. You're gonna kiss a dead man, okay. No, no, no! No, 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 no! Last time someone had sex with a dead pe man, <laughs> the actual devil way to heaven, man. came. Him, in another role. <laughs> Fall, my future is in radio! Oh, God! Oh! He does. Yes, I do. Whoa! <laughs> You're gonna end up alone, sweetheart. This is not good. Oh, man. God, that was kind of amazing. Dude, put your clothes on. I, I don't think it matters now, right? He's dead. Please don't tell me that she's gonna get pregnant. What? Is that his head? What is it? What is it? Yeah, you had you had sex with with the my goat. Head in there? Yeah. Yes. Holy fuck! Oh, so he's a ghost. You just had sex with a ghost and a spirit or something. Uh, I don't know. This is like murder house. Are you dead? You'll be leaving soon. Shit, <laughs> she cannot catch a fucking break. Are we gonna have another apocalypse, baby? 20 minutes till sunrise. Oh, fuck. God. Soon, brother. Oh! Jesus Christ. <laughs> she definitely has final girl luck. I mean, Brooke. Catch a motherfucking break. In the 70s? Oh, he's not dead. Yet. <sighs> okay. <laughs> he's not dead because he's retrieving she the made bullets. everyone believe that I did it. I grow my tits when I get with scared. <laughs> the reflex, I guess. <laughs> Be this stupid Brooke! Oh my god! Oh! Come on, come on, you can fight her off! You can fight her off! I guess I do. Mia, stop it! Oh! But she's just gonna come back! Oh my god! He's a bad of the movie for him. I'm back in character. <laughs> okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Will he come back or not? You killed him. <laughs> Morning.
Margaret. Why do they hurt glasses or a seal on? I shake okay? a little, my glasses fall off. And she doesn't have an ear. Never better, actually. Oh! 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 Are kids really going to arrive? I guess yes is the answer. Evil! Oh yes! Oh, Brooke! Oh god! Okay. Oh god, the guys, the kids are gonna be traumatized. Are they gonna blame her for all the murders? Oh shit! This is not gonna be the end, right? They're taking the bodies away. Is that a head? He's not gonna be able to leave, right? Told you. Fucking dead, that's what. Whoa! Easy. You think if I killed you right now, they'd give me the chair? Most definitely. It's a joke. Lighten up. Oh, okay. You're doing this purgatory thing all wrong. <laughs> we can all ride, all Who are they? Are they? Richard? And Margaret? Hey. But he can live. They both can leave. Keep out. What? They are going to LA. Okay, guys, so that was the end of season 9, episode 5 of American Horror Story. And. Hmm. Hmm. So the night finally ends. Uh, and we kind of have a better understanding of, you know, the, the camp and, um, all of it. We kind of have a better understanding. Uh, and like I was expecting, I wasn't expecting for the camp to actually get the kids there. And you know they start activities. I didn't. I never expected that because if they, if they wanted to do that, they will have done it since episode one. And this entire four, five episodes have been about that night. You know that first night uh, there, uh, and pretty much killing every other character. So we have Ray Montana, the. Uh, well, technically, Ray Montana, what is his name? Xavier, Chet, where is Chet? Chet Jingles, the cook, the cook, I don't remember her name. Who else died? Oh, Trevor. So we got we have pretty much most of the characters dead and now in this some sort of purgatory like Montana says at the end uh they cannot leave the premises of the camp but inside the camp they are you know uh they're going to stay there forever probably pretty much like murder house but this is a camp you know uh we don't know the reasons why this this camp is like that um murder house it was due to the terrible things that it was done in that house and the house had this sort of you know energy and that's why they get, get got trapped um but with with cam redwood they haven't explained it yet i'm guessing that it goes with the same rules maybe but there are some tricky things um, Richard and Jingles were able to leave the camp 
even though both of them died. But I'm guessing they actually came back from the dead. It was their own bodies, the ones that came back from the dead. It's not like them, they are more like the spirits. I mean, their bodies are still there. The bodies were sent to the morgue, you know, and the spirits live there. So I'm guessing they didn't accept Satan, maybe, and that is why they are in this purgatory, because they are not necessarily good people, you know? Uh, so that's why they are there. Uh, the other ones, you know, maybe Chad, Trevor, Jingles, Ramirez, uh, they came back, well, so far it's just Jingles and Ramirez, that they came back and were able to leave the camp uh, because they actually were brought back to life. These other ones are just ghosts, right? So they are able to leave because of that. I, I mean, that is that is why I, what I understand, hopefully it's the correct thing. Because it has to be a reason and a difference between one and the others. Why they can leave the camp and why Ramirez and Jingle were able to do it, even though they were dead as well. They came back. They fully came back because of Satan. Right? So now we have that. And now we also have whether if Trevor, Chad, we, which are the ghosts that we didn't... Like the people who died that we haven't seen. So we haven't seen the cook... We haven't seen Trevor, uh, Chet. Who else didn't we have? Trevor, Chet, the cook. Those three we didn't see. Am I forgetting someone? Well, and Brooke is going to be blamed for, for all the massacre, even though she was the final girl. Technically, you know, and Margaret is gonna do everything in her power because she's a powerful liar uh, And she's going to say that oh no, she's the one who went crazy and tried to do all of this to us And now she also like you see the connections and parallels to murder house She had sex with a ghost same thing as Vivian from season one had sex with a ghost and then you know with Tate and she got pregnant with the son of Satan from last season. Uh, what was his name? I forgot his name. Michael, right? So now what? Is she going to be like... And she was a, she was a virgin. It was her first time having sex. So what? Is, is, are we going to see the another one of his kids being born? I mean, we know that it is possible, but like we haven't seen, so but it has to mean something, the fact that she had sex with a ghost, right? So I'm guessing that maybe there will be a strong connection with Apocalypse uh, due to that. With Apocalypse, with, with Apocalypse, with Murder House, and if they are connected, then with Coven as well. So this is going to be insane. And like this season that, really didn't seem like it was going to have any connections, has so many connections to at least three of the previous seasons. Murder House, Coven, and Apocalypse. Holy shit. Okay, so I'm guessing the last... I, I, I honestly don't know where to look for the next a batch of episodes, like the next, next five, four or five episodes that we have left. I don't know where the season is going to go because now they are not going to be in the camp. Are they gonna like jump ahead in time? Are we gonna make, uh, what is her name? Uh, Brooke, one, a serial killer, just like the other ones, since she's gonna be in prison for something that she didn't do, like Jingles. And she's going to start believing that she did. I mean, it's very interesting because normally we don't have many women serial killers. And that is something that is rare, you know. So having that will be, like, really shocking. Um, oh, we don't know where Rita... Well, Rita's alive. But where did she go? What is she going to do now? Is she going to try to free Brooke? Trying to amend what she did with Jingles. 
Also, we learned the reason why she did all of this. It was because this darkness left inside of her dad, you know, because her her dad was a serial killer, you know? Uh, and it was something, and th there is, you know, some things that, this is American Horror Story, they always deal with supernatural, so I'm not gonna make a big deal about it, but, you know, there is a psychology, psych, psych, psychological aspect of on, on serial killers, and sometimes just deem them as just evil because they have this external forces forcing them to do some some of these things not very fair because they are disturbed awful human beings that yes they have a, a, a an uh, a, an issue yes but it's not like uh it's not like you're gonna excuse them for that you know but of course uh so uh american horror story takes it to the through the supernatural uh, aspect of things and I mean you cannot say oh no it's true stay true through like they are psychopaths and then they do it because they want it and like they they I mean there is no reason to believe whether if they are born that way or if they are made after you know like what they were planning with this like I mean we saw her dad Rita's well Donna's Donna is I think her name right I don't remember but we see her we, we we see her interacting with her dad and her dad says I was born this way but then you have Jingles who was made the way he, he is because he was a soldier but like all other than in at war he didn't kill anyone you know and then he started killing because that is what everyone told him that he did so I like that that contrast contrast between one and the other um, of course you just talk about the psychology aspect of it you can but this is uh this is um american horror story and they're gonna go with the supernatural but this episode was amazing amazing and i honestly hope that they take um uh, what's her name margaret down she fucking deserves that because she has killed a lot of people poor chad i mean he was always being i mean he what he did drugs that is his worst sin I mean, that's not bad. And it, compared to the other shit everyone has done, that's not a bad thing, you know. I mean, and by everyone, I mean all the killers, including Rita, you know. Um, but yeah, this was a great episode. I loved it. I think it was strong. It was just what I needed for from American Horror Story. And this is episode five, and the season continues to be amazing. And I'm honestly loving, loving the season. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed my reaction. If you have theories or anything, let me know in the comment section down below. Do not spoil anything for me. I do not watch trailers or promos or read descriptions for episodes or promotional photos or who was on set what day or what they did or how they dress. I don't know. I don't want to know. Also, if there is some big guest star or some of our usual cast that are not part of this is not going to come back, don't tell me. I want to be surprised by it. So please avoid all types of spoilers. Please. Like you have been doing because no one has spoiled anything for me. So thank you so much for that. Thank you for being kind and for not spoiling things for people like myself who just genuinely don't want to know anything about it. So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Give it a lot of thumbs up, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Go to Patreon right now to watch the full extended version for this reaction. And that's it. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos. Well, next week, actually, for episode 6 of American Horror Story. Mwah! Bye, guys!